Hi, this is uh, Lattice, uh, Tri-Ray SDI demo. In this demo, we are using two uh, VPP board, ECP3 VPP board, and uh, two uh, Tektronic waveform monitor. This one is for 3G, SD, and HD, but it, this one only measure 3G jitter. This monitor will uh, measure SD and HD jitter. However, it will not display uh, the video for 3G. We also use two LCD monitors uh, to connect it to the Tektronic waveform monitors. The uh, VPP has two modes. One is the uh, uh, pattern generation mode and the other is pass-through mode. Currently, we are running a pattern generation mode. The signal is output through this cable here and then connected to uh, the first monitor. And we set the first monitor to loop out the signal coming in to going through this cable to the second monitor. Right now, uh, we are setting at HD uh, mode. So what you can see is we cannot measure jitter here but we, we are measuring jitter on the second monitor here. The current uh, standard is the HD uh, 1035i 60 frames per second. Okay, the jitter number, alignment jitter is 0.07 and timing jitter is 0 0.20. In pattern generation mode, we can change to different patterns. Okay, we can change to different patterns by pressing uh, the button over here. There are three uh, color bars. This is 100% uh, uh, 75% and this is 70 color bars. Also we can adjust the switch over here to change to a pathological pattern. We also support three different patterns. One, two, and three. Adjusting different switch here, we can change the pattern to different uh, HD standards. For example, let me change to this is, uh, seven.
change it. Uh, the standard is displayed on the LCD monitor as well. You can see this is SD625i. monitor will not display uh, anything because it supports uh, SD and HD only. Now we are running a 3G. Okay, the standard is 1080p 59.94. And for the 3G jitter, you can see here. We have uh, alignment jitter 0 0.15.16 and timing jitter is 0 0.62, 0 0.6, uh, it's jumping around there, yeah, but around 0 0.6 something. Okay, this is just one of the board. Uh, we can disconnect this and then measure on the other board. 